Pip Pip Cheerio Doge Coiners, welcome back to the Minecraft Guide. Today is the day, we can't delay it any longer. I've seen so many requests, including Pamela. Sweet Pamela has asked me so many times for this. The full warm, the full warm, finally, it is an announcement official. Tell everybody, the full warm is officially coming. However, it's not coming today because there's a big problem, a gigantic eyesore, something that doesn't work. I hate to say it, the creeper farm. It's great, it's wonderful, it works, but at the same time, it just doesn't work. It hasn't been hitting right for a while, actually, almost since I built it, and it's a big problem. Before we do anything with the full warm, we actually have to do something with this monstrosity, right here everybody knows that i know it pamela knows it oh god uh, honestly even burb knows it pamela you're gonna want to stay inside somebody not good is out there you're just gonna want to wait right there here it is by far the worst looking build in the entire world the creeper farm and even worse to make things even worse the creeper farm has three gigantic issues with it too these issues cannot exist any longer we have to fix three big things about the creeper farm today we're going to split today's episode into three parts may maybe four parts depending on how you look at it depending on how you consider it we're in part one right now did you know i have a tiktok did you know i have a twitter they're both linked in the description you should definitely drop a follow on those things before you can't drop a follow on them you won't want to miss it, especially the Twitter. Also leave a like on the guide episode, please. I appreciate it. Part two, full warm, full warm, full warm so soon, but this thing is a gigantic eyesore. It looks really bad and also it functions kind of bad. There's a big problem with the redstone clock and actually uh, the problem has persisted. It's existed for like a long time. So I think we built the creeper farm probably before or around episode 50. I don't exactly remember anymore, but it's been here for a long time. Like it's existed. And uh, basically the whole time, the clock has had a gigantic problem. I actually have to go over to the clock every once in a while and fix it. The problem is the redstone signal. If you take a look at this clock, go back to the episode where we built it, and then you come back here. Yeah, the signal is different. It's longer. There should only be one signal in here looping on one repeater. However, like half of the repeaters are lit at any time, which is making the water pour out way too quick. It works, but it could work better. Now, honestly, I'm not 100% sure why this is happening. Uh, I've seen some of you say in the comments that maybe it has to do with something like unloading and reloading the world. Maybe when I go through a nether portal or fly away, walk away from this area and the signal gets messed up or something like that. I'm not too sure why it happens, to be honest. However, I know a really good way to actually fix it and making sure this stuff never happens again. To fix it, we're going to completely change the redstone clock. Even Burb knows this new redstone clock is so much better. And it's pretty cheap to build too, especially at this point in the game. Two hoppers, two sticky pistons, two comparators, two redstone dust, two building blocks, maybe a little bit more if you don't have a platform already set up, one redstone block, and then an observer because of how we're going to link this up to the farm. We also are going to use 24 random building blocks. Uh, it could be like cobblestone slabs. I don't really need those. You could do like planks or something. Basically, the amount of building blocks you're going to use in this thing is going to change the timing. It's pretty cool, actually. Uh, 24 is going to be our number. Basically, you're just going to want to use building blocks that you don't care about because you're not going to get them back. They need to stay inside of this clock. So before we do anything with the farm, I need to make sure that nothing is inside of the farm. Like, no single creeper is waiting over here. I think we're good. We look pretty good. I don't see anything here. I think if we stay near this thing, we'll be within, like, the spawning radius, and it'll cut spawns out. So we should be good to work on this now. All right, so first things first, this old clock, it needs to stop. To stop it, all we need to do is break one of those. I hope all of the water gets picked up. Um... Is it picked up? There's only one way to find out. This way? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Exactly what we needed. This is picked up. Okay. So now that we're up here, we're going to place that down, grab the observer, place this back, and then take that out. This redstone torch, it has to go. We don't need it anymore. We're actually going to put an observer right there facing down instead. Then we can go ahead and put that back, climb back out of the floor, because I think we're basically done up here for now. Now, before I make any more changes to this thing, let me show you this. So, we do have this in here. Lots of gunpowder. It does technically work. However, it could be working way better. I think the last time I actually emptied that chest was maybe World Tour. Maybe a little bit after. So, yeah, not that good for all that time. I mean, we've been away a lot, but, yeah, not good. A anyways, this redstone clock. So, the old one is with repeaters, which does work, but it has its flaw. We don't need all of these repeaters anymore. We can just take all of these out. The platform also doesn't need to be as big anymore. The platform is going to need to be six blocks long now, two blocks wide. So, we have three, four, five, six. We can take these two off as well, and then all of those repeaters. It's dark. I know, I know, I know. This block has to go as well, and then... Did I take these two off? I think I already did that. All right, so now we have an observer in here in place of the redstone torch block combo. Far more superior. To set up this clock, first find the middle of your six block long platform. 
place one of the blocks on one of the middle things, and then place a hopper going into that block like that. Then remove the block. It's temporary. Place another hopper going into... No. No. Place another hopper going into that hopper so you have that. They're linked together. They're basically going to send items back and forth to each other. Then, after that, we're going to place a comparator coming out of each hopper. So facing out like that, and then going into a solid block on either side. It's all symmetrical here. Then we're going to place a redstone dust right there, redstone dust right there, a sticky piston against the dust. And the dust needs to stay in the cross form like that, or this won't work. And then same thing on the other side, sticky piston. Finally, we're going to place a block of redstone right there. And then inside of this hopper, we're going to grab our 24 placeholder items that I completely forgot. These things right here, the cobblestone slabs. The 24 placeholder items are going to go inside of this hopper right here. Just drop them inside, and then this is going to happen. That's going to fire out. And then all we need to do really is wait here. It's an Ethonian hopper clock. Our boy Etho, the great Etho. I think he came up with this idea originally. At least he popularized it. It's amazing. It's simply amazing. So the hoppers are spitting the items back and forth, and then the comparators are detecting when the hopper has the items. And they update the block behind it, update the redstone, update the sticky piston block moves back and forth the observer is seeing the redstone block move it's going to drop and pick up the water all we need to do now is go away from this thing and check out the water timing i'm pretty sure 24 blocks inside of that thing is going to be good if we want to slow it down we add items if we want to speed it up we take some items out honestly from the start i should have just put this hopper clock on it because it is so good and i don't need that torch either that's an extra torch that i left there so i could actually fix the thing that's why that's about to sit there we don't actually need to see a creeper spawn if we see one spawn oh look at that look at that right off the bat that's actually kind of perfect so is the water going to be able to rinse them off and it seems like there's a problem no no no, no. there's not a problem with platform one uh water okay okay the timing is good it dumps them off that's exactly what we want and the first platform is out of sync i could fix that pretty easily it's kind of annoying <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I think that timing looked like it was pretty good. It was able to dump the creepers off in enough time. All we need to do is get that first platform back in sync, which means manually change it. And then the creepers could stop swimming against the current. There you go. That is perfect. So smart. All right, so let's see. To sync this thing back up, we're going to have this thing pick up the water, right? That's going to drop it all. Then if I update it again and remove that, is that going to fix it? Or am I just always going to be out of sync now? Uh, you know, how do I fix this even? How do I fix, like, the auto sync? Because if I pick the water up, then it updates everything else, and... Huh? <laughs> what? How do I fix it? Okay, actually fixing this thing is gonna be way trickier than I thought, unless we can update that really quickly. Oh, there we go, there we go, maybe? Um, is that gonna pick up all the water? Yeah, 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 they picked up all the water. Okay, so we put that back. Now everything should be synced up again, maybe? Yeah, it's beautiful. Everything is synced up now. We just had to update that thing really quick so the observer couldn't detect it. Perfect. We're perfectly in sync again. As long as I don't mess with anything, we should stay in sync and on perfect timing forever now. I, I hope. <laughs> Hopefully. Next thing we need to fix. I prefer not to say it, but I have to say it. The creeper farm, it doesn't match anything. It is by far the ugliest build in this entire world. It, it stands out. It's not good looking. Even the, the iron golems literally can't stand it. Look at They just jump and fall because the build looks so bad. We need to fix the build up, make it look a little bit better. And good news, I have really good idea. So this idea is going to involve a couple things. A 360. Dark oak wood, dark oak wood, beautiful dark oak wood, so much dark oak wood. And also, because I farmed trees like a long time ago when I was looking for patrols, uh, I have so much dark oak wood, and I can even farm even more dark oak wood. It's dark oak city. So instead of using something like dark oak logs, which definitely would be really cool, insanely expensive, but cool, we're going to actually cut things down and make it a little easier and use dark oak planks. It's still going to look really good. However, do you notice anything? Like, specifically the edge, the blocks everywhere? Yeah, they're iron blocks right now, which definitely isn't dark oak. Last time I checked, at least. To start making this build look better, first we need to replace all the really good-looking iron blocks with even better-looking dark oak blocks. Or at least all the iron blocks so we can see from the outside. So something like that. Next up, pretty easy to finish this thing off, make it look beautiful, amazing, perfect. All we need to do is go all the way around the edge of this thing, all the way up, like straight up to the top. Oi, if you could stop that skeleton. I was saying, all we need to do is go straight up to the top of this thing, all the way up to the ceiling right there with dark oak. Then it will look amazing, possibly even best build in the entire world. Also, these lanterns, I guess I don't really need these things anymore. I can just cut those things out. Uh, these are going to technically be spawning blocks. I don't know if I'm really worried about that, though. If, like, a zombie spawns on that every once in a while and wanders into the water, I mean, is that really a problem? 
I would say no. I don't think that's really a problem. The only problem here, <laughs> I need a better tree farm. I seriously need a better one. I thought I would be fine with like picking up saplings because when I built it uh, over there, the platforms, I said, oh, oh it's, it's good, good, it's good. good. I've been, been so good, good with like getting, getting saplings, saplings in this world. world. However, I've already forgotten. I went back over to the dark oak thing after literally just replacing the first row and there were no saplings and there definitely should have been at least one sapling from that dark oak tree. So, yup, I'm going to have to get better about getting the saplings from the tree uh, that I cut down. <laughs> Pain. Pain is all I feel anymore. And at least there's all this dark oak wood in here. This might actually carry us through the whole project. Three stacks of the stuff in the inventory, even more right there. It's great. Also, we have spruce wood right here. I could definitely just go ahead and swap those out for dark oak staircases now and make the build like blend down a little bit farther. Maybe I put some more trap doors right there just to finish that off so it doesn't look so weird. Yeah, yeah, that looks good. See, the nice thing about this too is all I have to do is crouch and just place three blocks going all the way around the edge. And this is so fast. This is like really easy. And because I've been near this thing the whole time, I don't have to worry about any more skeletons. That one skeleton that was there, it will never happen again. It, it couldn't happen, which is really nice. It is nighttime though, which means time to sleep. But oh wait, I always have a bed on me, which means I can sleep on the platform too. I don't even have to come down off of this thing. Oh, pain. Pain is all I feel anymore. That looks good. That looks really good, actually. I'm so proud of myself with this build. I'm doing good. However, gamers, good does not mean we stop. I think there are a couple more things that we could change about this build to make it look even better than it already does, believe it or not. So, thing number one, the roof, the ceiling of it. It looks really funny now. So, we have a solid chamber in there. The roof, it doesn't need to hang over so far anymore because it's, like, really dark. We have blocks all around the side, so we can trim the roof back. I definitely want to do something else up there. Maybe, like, even, like, a room or something. That could be kind of cool. Because of the size of this thing, we probably end up with a flat roof no matter what, either way. But, yeah, it could definitely trim that back. Then, the sides the sides are round so there's depth but at the same time there's not any depth at all it's really really flat like i mean look at it i know it you know it even pam knows that the build needs more Lucky for you and me, I have a really good idea, hopefully. I think it's going to be a pretty good idea. So the build is really flat right now. To break it up, we need to put something on the sides. The thing on the sides, I, I think we could basically make these rings on the side. Maybe put like lime terracotta in the middle because get it like creeper farm. That could be kind of cool. Uh, but rings on the side out of spruce wood, lime terracotta in the middle. I'll have to see if I have enough. They're going to go like this. It's going to wrap down over this way. It's going to go like that. And then it's going to go straight down. So section of three right there. So we have a middle. Uh, that's going to be important in a minute. Then over here, we finish that off. Over here, we go staircase right there. So we end up with that shape. And then lime terracotta in the middle. Like I could take out all of the dark oak and replace it with lime terracotta. It will stay inside of the center. I think that'll look good. And lime terracotta because, yeah, uh... But you get it next up the sides the corners so i would love to do more circles that would be great but we really just can't do that it wouldn't fit in here so instead of that i think we could basically blend the shape out by doing that a couple more staircases line of planks going out that way now this is where we get a little bit more tricky because we have all of these corners right here so we have that we have that we have that we have that and then finally we have that right there and then this is going to be a section of three we do the same staircase trick we do the same ring thing on every single side and i'll repeat it going up the side of this thing hopefully i can fit like three in here three would be like a really solid number we'll see anyways we have this right here so let's see uh do we have like a middle no we don't have a middle but we have this spot right here then we have that right there and we have that so we we could do that instead hmm this is my work here's the scheme perhaps maybe i'm not too sure but imagine this we we actually take out of this like circle shape here and then do like stripped logs going all the way up and maybe even just plain logs like non-stripped spruce logs going all the way up on that corner and on that corner right there too to add even more to the build and then finally may maybe in here because we have a center we do even more like fences like just get crazy with all of this decoration and detail in here i feel like that would look pretty sweet and it should work so that's nice and all. It's cool. I seem to have it figured out. However, how would this actually fit in here? So the next one, we're going to have to space out like that. So then the, the staircases can actually work, right? Like a staircase there and, and it goes up, right? Of course, we keep everything symmetrical. So like a section of three going up, then the same staircases again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's going to end that next one right there, which means the next one starts right there. Yeah, right there. 
Please fit, please fit, please fit. Oh no, the ceiling. Okay, not good, not good. But this has to go anyway, so it's okay, it's okay. Volus alarm. Uh, please fit, please fit. You're gonna curve like that. You're gonna go over. Oh, it fits, it fits. And I don't even have to make the build taller. If it didn't fit, I would have just made the build taller. But we don't even have to do that. That works. Okay, sweet. So then upside down staircase right there. Staircase right there. That goes there. Then we can get down off of this thing and check it out. What do we think? Oh yeah, for sure. That's gonna add more depth. And then again, the lime in there. Oh, it looks so good. Maybe we could even put like. A trap door in the middle i would put a light but it would light the inside up so not good oh for sure and that's gonna go up there and fences in there too oh it's gonna be crazy house ever uh oh okay okay this is doable this is doable we could work with this maybe might have to go to the mesa but this is a start for sure and you want to know what's even better about it all? We can basically build everything from these side pillars right here. As I'm going up and stripping these logs, I can get all of these other things in here. We'll come back for, like, the fences later. But I can get the logs in, go up to the next layer, strip these things as I'm going up. Definitely can't forget that. And then I'll be at the next layer in no time. And, and I can get the rest of the side in. Then I can just fill everything in in the middle. So that's going to be, like, some diagonal blocks. And do the same thing over and over and over again. It's a perfect circle. And it's perfect symmetry, of course. I wouldn't give anything less, ever. Cactus Shack. Okay, you ready? So, other than the terracotta, this is what we're looking at right now. We have tons of spruce all over the thing. A lot of fences. This is going to be expensive. I think I'm going to wrap fences all the way around the sides in there. Add a little bit more detail. And then inside of those rings, I'm missing a slab. I, yikes, ignore it. Inside of the rings, we're going to put terracotta. That's going to look really, really good. And I think in terms of depth, uh, after I get this going all the way around the sides, it's going to look good. And that should definitely be it for the rest of this build, I think, hopefully. Thinking about the build sticking out in the background, I think that's going to look really cool too even if i decided to like take down that tree even better than we can see it and then eventually maybe we build something up on top of it i'm not too sure today i might leave it flat i don't know after finishing just this one section though i've realized something definitely gonna need to make more scaffolding I, I don't have very much scaffolding and also definitely gonna need to cut more spruce trees down i have more stacks of spruce wood like in the storage but nowhere near enough to actually finish this whole thing because it's tall and this takes a lot like those corner pieces oh yeah and one more thing that i didn't finish quite yet the the roof i have to take the roof off all the way too but overall i'm pretty happy with what i have right now i'm pretty sure we're gonna stick with this plan it has happened it happened yes 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 the build is ready check it out right here there it is let me know what you think down in the comments below thank you so much for watching today's minecraft guide episode oh yeah so yes of course i could never forget today's comment of the day it's a really good one too r slash waddles update general pikefish also known as the smartest fish to ever exist it's genius it's genius in the format i love it too it's so smart Come on, let's be honest. Reddit is, well, well, Reddit sometimes. It can be Reddit sometimes. However, the Waddle subreddit, it's not like the rest of Reddit. There are memes, there are farm ideas, and there are other beautiful things. Like, look at this, this render right here. It was on a Hermitcraft subreddit. I think it was on the Minecraft subreddit too. These renders are so cool. Look at all the people there. And hey, 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 hey. I seriously love these renders. They're so interesting. Like, what is even going on here? Like, look at Mumbo's eyes. Mumbo has seen some things. No, no lie. There are so many people here, and honestly, I still am, like, surprised when I'm actually, like, put into these renders. Like, whoever made this, you play R20. Like, thank you for including me. This is so cool. This is sweet. Somebody rebuilt the entire jungle house. It looks like, like, one for one almost exactly. Like, look at it. Outside is spot on. Inside is spot on. We even got the pets in there. That bird, though... Careful, that bird is pretty close to being a demon. A general pikefish, that is the smartest thing that I've heard probably all week, maybe all month. That was such a good idea. We're going to do subreddit update as a comment of the day once in a while. So definitely go to the subreddit and post things. And let me make this clear in case it's not. Unlike the Minecraft subreddit, you can definitely post memes. Memes are cool. Uh, speaking of memes, I joked, I trolled. I, I couldn't contain myself. I'm sorry. The build, the actual shot of the build. You want to see it probably. Here it is. Check it out. So the lime terracotta on the build, it definitely worked. I, oh no. <gasps> Hold on. Stop messing around. They said, take the build seriously. They said, put an actual top on the build. They said, yeah, that was not intentional. That's my bad. But check out the build. The lime is good, but I feel like the thing that makes the build actually come to life is the fences. Like, fences are amazing. Once you start putting fences on builds, it's so hard to stop because... 
Oh no, I, I still miss some. It's so hard to stop because they're such a good looking block and you put like fences on literally any build and they just instantly like make it look so much better. The fences wrapping around the build, I wasn't sure of it at first to be honest and it was really expensive, but it was definitely worth it. Of course, of course, I've already walked around at a bunch of different angles and taken a look at the build. One angle that I really like is down here, right next to the storage cathedral. I feel like the build just looks like absolutely massive from here. Now that we're upstairs in the storage building too much, because we're not, but the build, it looks gigantic from in here too. Like, it takes up all of that area. It looks huge. The build definitely fits in way better now to this area. However, there is one big problem. The problem is that tree. I'm undecided. Let me know what you think. Do I chop that tree out or do I leave it there? I like some of the trees around the thing. I think it looks good. However, the tree right there, the tree right there, it completely cuts the view off. I don't know. Especially once we put something else on top of the thing. We're going to leave it flat today. We'll put something else up there eventually. But the tree will cut it all off. Can't forget, can't forget, of course, the map. Here it is right now. Update this map. There we go. This map and this map here we go now instead of that weird diagonal we have a circle and we can see a path going over to the circle maps are amazing looking i love them so yep i have a subreddit link to that in the description and yep that's gonna do it for today's episode of the minecraft guide now you're probably saying uh, hey waddles you said four parts and there was that intro bit uh the fix the the clock bit the the bit where you redid the farm what about the fourth part ah uh, yes the fourth part so the fourth part has to do with fixing the rates even more. Now that we have the build looking good, better clock, the rates are going to be a little bit better. Not that the look of the build has to do with any of the rate stuff. The better clock fixes the rates, though. All we need to do to fix the rates even more is get caves lit up. Now, somewhere over here, I can hear it. Somewhere over here, there's a cave. Ah, uh, it's right down there, I think. Is it down here? Somewhere over here, I found a cave entrance before, I swear. Ah, uh, yes, perhaps this is it. This might be the cave entrance. Taking a bath in the grass, I see. Yes, the cave entrance has been filled up with Endermen for some reason. I don't know why they were doing this. We will let our Enderman friend continue to take a bath in the grass block right there. But this cave system, I need to get this thing lit up. Assuming this is a cave system, which I'm pretty sure it is. When we were building the Panda Monorail, I found this thing and peeked inside of it. It was definitely less blocked off at the time. But I found it and I took a look and we need to get this thing lit up. However, I'm trying to keep these episodes to like a consistent length at this point. So like right now, basically. So I think what we're going to do is cave a little bit in the next episode. Big hype. Hopefully that's like one of the last cave systems in this area. Not too sure, of course, but hopefully the rates are pretty good. But if they don't get better soon, we're going to have to build an even better creeper farm like up in the sky or somewhere else to make a farm zone. Maybe farm zone. Maybe. Thank you for watching, everybody. Creeper Farm it has officially been improved again. It's better looking than ever. Today, big shout out to certified patron gamers, Bruce Renegade Baby, Dergner, and 4 Game 99 Like, subscribe, comment, notification bell. I'll see you next time. Hope you enjoy the video. Goodbye, everybody.